What's up, everybody? It's John with John Sports Touch coming into the brand new video here on this Monday. Hopefully, you had a nice weekend. And we're back with a brand new week and with a brand new product. This came out about a week or so ago. Finally getting around to it. It's a brand new 2020 Topps Gold Label Hobby Box. Uh, this is a really, really cool product. You're guaranteed one framed autograph card per box. Those are awesome in the past. When I've opened up this product, we have pulled out several of Perez's autograph, Trey Mancini. And my uh, sons opened up a box of this for Christmas a couple years back, and they got a Victor Robles uh, autograph frame card, which is awesome. Um, what else can I say about this product? There's 100 base cards in here, and we're going to have all kinds of different colors, class 1, 2, and 3. Uh, back here, you can see there are different color parallels. Black um, is in every uh, one of two packs. It's a blue, every one of 17. Red, one of 34. A gold, which is really hard to pull, one of every 2,447 packs. And it goes on and on and on. There's different kind of parallels for the uh, for the autographs. There's also relics possibly in here. This is a really, really cool product. It's relatively inexpensive. It's $69.99 for a hobby box of this. So let's open this up today and see if we can pull out of here. I am really excited to open this up. I like this product a lot. Uh, I discovered it a couple years back when, you know, got back in the hobby. And... Um, you know, look forward to this every... Last year, we didn't know. I didn't open this up. We didn't open this up here on the channel. For some reason, I think it was kind of staying away from hobby products and focusing on retail because it was a lot easier to get a hold of that stuff. But now, we're going the other route. We're going to go hobby, have bigger, uh, better chances of pulling nice cards out of uh, the hobby product than with the retail. I mean, we all know the situation with retail. It's completely insane, bonkers. And uh, the flippers just keep, keep coming and they don't stop. So... The framed card, where will it be? I think it's the second one here. Yes. So we'll do that one last. Got Luis Robert here on the front of the box, also on the packs. Let's put this back here. There you go. Okay. Got a little interrupted there. Sorry. Probably can't even tell. Anyway, here's uh, here's the first pack. It's got five cards per pack. Here's Luis Robert on the front. Um, really nice looking uh, wrapper here. Here's the back. Here are these odds if you want to take a look at them. Again, you can freeze this. Hopefully, you can read that. And let's get these open and see what we can pull out of here today. You guys may have seen the video I made last week about two new Toss.com products that I opened and featured on the channel here on a video, Tops 206 and um, Tops Total. And I did speak with Tops. <laughs> About the uh, the damaged uh, car after waiting on hold for almost two hours. And uh, I have to go through this whole process now. PDF file, download, fill out by hand, you know, the whole nine yards. And uh, I have to see if it's in the card in or just a photo or how they're working that out. But I will probably more likely not get the card back that I pulled. Very disappointing. Very disappointing with Tops in general. We've had two issues with product of theirs. The, the one we made the video for showcasing the product... But then another one with Heritage, uh, Heritage, the uh, the minor league box too had damage card after finishing the video and posting it, looking closely at one of the serial number cards, and that had damage too. So you got two issues with that. I know that some other other YouTubers have had issues too with the with uh, with tops lately, in particular Mike O with a, an unfortunate situation with a box being just totally destroyed. Top Sapphire, three hundred dollar product, very very disappointing. All right, here we go. Here's class one. Francisco Lindor is a beautiful card. You can see kind of the the rainbow foil in the back uh, background of the cards. They're very nice stuff. So class one, Francisco Lindor. Here's the front. I love the love the shots, the photographs on this. Here's the back um, of of the uh, first card here. Mr. Lindor, his vitals, his career totals, his aver average for the season, his career best, and then a little. Nice little uh, paragraph about Mr. Lindor. It's a very nice stuff to start off with. Here is a class one of Mr. Joey Votto. This is nice. Class one, Tim Anderson. Then we end with class two, Anthony Rizzo. So, and I think in the different classes, you're going to see different photographs of the players if you get multiple. So you're not getting duplicates. You got to look in the background. Of these cards. My first time ever doing this, I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> and I'm reading out these cards. I couldn't understand why I was getting doubles. And then I went back afterwards and looked and noticed they were different classes, which is in the background right here, which you can see. Okay, we started here with Eloy Jimenez, class one. And now I also want to note, too, you can see this is, to see the differences here, you got the black and then silver 
Um, just a, like a, a color variation swap on these. I don't know if that's anything different, if that's normal. Okay, Eloy Jimenez, Chipper Jones. That's very nice stuff right there. Rafael Devers, class one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And next up, we've got class two of Robel Garcia. Nice rookie card. We have a nice class one, Jacob DeGrom. So there you go with that. Let's make sure I didn't miss any rookies here. I don't think I did. Okay. Next pack. Anthony Rendon, class one. Dale Strawberry, class one. Mr. Paul Goldschmidt, class three. Um, this looks to be like, this is not serial number or anything. But very nice, class three car right there. Nolan Arenado, class two. And with a nice Ricky Henderson, very nice stuff right there. Speedster, Hall of Famer, unbelievable outfielder for the Oakland Athletics. They're in a class one card. The other day I just watched Moneyball, probably the third or fourth time. Love that movie. I had a discussion with my dad about that movie and the, my my uh my love of the Oakland Athletics going back to when I was a kid. I had a discussion about why. <laughs> I always liked the uh the underdog, and then when I started liking the A's, they really, really stunk. Uh, they had either to come off of their 1970s teams that were pretty successful, and then uh, the early 80s when Ray, Ricky Anderson came into, into play, that's when I started following them. Um, and it took a little while for them to kind of catch up and, and have their uh, have their stronger teams. But love the Oakland Athletics. And speaking of one here is Jesus Lazardo, Class 1 rookie card here. Followed by, followed by a future Hall of Famer here, Albert Pujols, Class 1 card. Class 2 card of Francisco Lindor. So they're using the same photo in the class too. Let me just double check that and see if I'm correct. No, a different photo. So yeah, here's what I'm talking about, the photo variations that you're gonna find in these cards. You can see that there, Mr. Lindor. So you got a class two of Mr. Francisco Lindor. Followed by, followed by Alex Bregman, class two. Hey, you look at that. That's awesome, class one, Luis Robert. And look at that. Can you believe this? What is going on with Tops? <sighs> Can you guys see that? There's a slight little ding in that card. I know some people would not even make a big deal out of it, but I'm making a big deal out of it. I don't understand this, guys. Maybe you can help me out here trying to figure this all out. Because, you know, I'm noticing these damaged cars starting to show up on things that are like important cards, and this being a rookie card, what are the odds of that happening? That's actually the second time I've had a Luis Robert rookie card be damaged um, from Tops, And the first time was recently when we opened up the Allen Ginter. And I just, you know, it just makes me wonder. I, I have had this discussion, with, I had a discussion with my, my, my pop as well, about like, you know, I, not, not to look, go into conspiracy theories or anything like that, but you know, you gotta wonder, like, the damaged cards I'm starting to see are on, on uh, you know, higher end things, serial number cards, rookies that that are like big names. It just it just makes me wonder. It just makes me wonder. Like, I don't know if anybody else is having this kind of issue, but I've just been seeing this a lot, and I just don't understand why. All right, so let's continue here, and hopefully we'll run out of the box with some really cool stuff. But that's a nice card to get, and it's got a slight little chip ding in the corner. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Um. And why that one only? Because I don't see any other real damage in any of these other cards. I don't know. I'll have to look closely under the light. Anyway, sorry. Uh, let's continue here. Mike Schmidt, class one. Flatty Jr., class three. Nice stuff there. So not serial numbered. That one isn't. Uh, class two of Jacob deGrom. Paul Goldschmidt, class one. Vladdy Jr. Class 1. So we got a nice Class 3 and then a nice Class 1 in one pack. Very nice stuff there. He's kind of falling off a little bit, Vladdy Jr. Let's 
I've just been noticing a lot more damage on cards lately than I had in the past. I mean, see, I see a nice uh, rookie in the back here. This is a nice one, too. No damage on this one. Kyle Lewis. Beautiful stuff right there. Followed by Joey Gallo, class one. Giancarlo Stanton, class one. Nice Ricky Henderson, class two. We end with Gavin Lux. Nice rookie card. Very cool stuff right there. Let's showcase him in the back. Along with Kyle Lewis. Can I fit all of them on here and you'll be able to see? Can you see them? Let's see. Let's put Mr. Lewis first. Give him some, some attention. All right. And let's see what we pull out of our frame card. Okay, here we go. Short video today. There are going to be cards in here, too. I think one or two. Right, let's see what we have. Drum roll. Alex Bregman. Nice. I mean, that, that, that redeems itself right there. Class three, Luis Robert. I will take that. All right. Let's see if there's any damage to that card. That's beautiful stuff. What am I going to do here? I don't need room. Just put him over here for a second. Nice! That is an awesome hit. I didn't even get to do the slow reveal. Here's Alex Bregman, by the way. Go away, Alex. Sorry. Uh, that is awesome. Sorry about screaming. That is a great auto to get. And it's numbered out of 75. Super hot. Uh, player, and there you go. That, if I, I, <laughs> that is incredible. That I cannot, I don't even know what to say. Now, if it was a Robert, that would have been even better, but this is just as good. We're gonna move Gavin Lux down, um, and put him in the nice rookie pile here. Move over Kyle Lewis and, uh, put Mr. Mr. Randy right there. Rosarina. Randy Rosarina. I always say Arizona. I always messed it up, but not that's I'm, I was mispronouncing it. That's incredible. Look at that on card auto, guys. That's awesome. That is you want to get a you know rookie card. We didn't get stuck with some, you know <laughs> somebody that's like you're like, who? That is awesome. Awesome. I needed that. That's great. That will go into the uh into the graded box and we will get that out figure out which company to go to for grading because we're kind of shy. I'm kind of shying away from PSA and probably looking at more Beckett and SGC because uh, of what's been going on. All right, this has been awesome. What, a, what an incredible box. I was so bummed out when I saw the saw the Luis Robert with a tiny little ding in the thing. You know, you heard me go on my little rant there. But this just ended in a, in a major, major way. So I cannot complain one bit about... Uh, about this. So let's highlight the cards that we found. Let's just do real quick. We won't do class one. Let's just do class two really fast. Very nice stuff. Ricky Henderson, Jacob deGrom, uh, Alex Bregman. Also got him in a class one. Francisco Lindor got him in a class one as well. Nolan Arenado, Anthony Rizzo. So some really nice stuff right there. The um, class threes, we only got a couple, I think. I don't think I put them in the right. I think these are the only two that we got. Uh, Vladdy Jr. and Paul Goldschmidt. Those are nice. We only got a class three rookie. Let's double check in my backs here with the, uh, the classes here. Make sure I didn't mix them up. Um, got a nice Gavin Lux, class one. These are the rookies. This is Lazardo, class one. Robel Garcia. And this is awesome. This is a class three. So right here, uh, Luis Robert. That's a really nice card. Awesome stuff there. We got a class one of Luis Robert. Got a nice Kyle Lewis as well. That's a class one. And then we got Randy um, Rosarina. I believe that's the pro proper pronunciation of that young man right there. And um, yes, just a total surprise. And coming over from the Cardinals to the Rays. And he's been... Sensational in the playoffs and now in the uh, in the World Series here, the Rays. Just a, what an awesome card to pull. Incredible autograph. Really awesome autograph, too. I mean, look at that. You could put, like, a little face on here, too. That is killer. And I couldn't ask for, for anything more. So what I thought was going to be kind of a disappointing box 
ended up being killer. That's all I can say. I'm done. I'm done blabbing, talking about going off off subject with things and whatnot. I'm so glad I was able to share this with you guys today. This is the brand new Tops 2020 Gold Label Hobby Box. It's sold out on Tops.com. You can buy this though, probably your LCS, and also they sell them on eBay. And you know, you pay ten bucks more than you know, you pay seventy nine dollars for this product on eBay. I'd say it probably is worth it. Just don't overpay. Don't pay twenty dollars, thirty dollars higher than what you should, you know, than this product. It's sixty nine ninety nine on tops.com. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Hey, if you're not subscribed, like to see here, then subscribe right, right below my index finger. Let's see a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these cards and the auto hit that we had here, which is to me simply incredible. I'd say it's probably, you know, the top three three or four autos you can pull out of here. I mean, Kyle Lewis would be awesome. Obviously, Robert. You know, I don't know who else on the auto list. I don't look very, very close at it. I'm not even sure if there is a... There's got to be a Luis Robert, one and Lewis. I'm sure they're on there. Um, but uh, that's a really good one to get. So, right now, that's a great one. Uh, what else can I say? You can start links down below in the description. That's all I have for you guys today. I got lots of really cool stuff coming up this week. We've got uh, Panini Chronicles uh, baseball coming up this week and some hockey hopefully getting around to and some other neat things that are going to be happening this week so look out for videos on those that's all i got for you guys today thanks again for watching everybody this is john john's Switch, signing off and hey we'll see y'all soon